Welcome back to Hashtag Entrepreneurship Tuesday on Y in the morning at Y254 channel. Across all our social media platform at Michelle Ashira is where you can reach out to me in this uh, other session. We are on uh, 30 minutes to our time frame, which is 7 till 10 a.m. Uh, in studio, I have Eric Wandera. With, wait. Before I introduce you to uh, this incredible young man, we are looking at uh, two, two aspects of it. He's an artist, but today, the main reason why he is today, he's here today is all about uh, his uh, fashion and design shop known as Slam Kid Kick. Kicks. Kicks. I got it right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got it. Finally. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you very much for creating time, uh, Eric Wandera. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm a pleasure to, to be here. How have you been? I've been good. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so for someone who is meeting you uh, mm -hmm. for the first time ever, ever, yes, yes, yes. who is Eric Wandera? Uh, Eric Wandera, first of all, is a God-fearing guy. Okay. First of all, that is what I always identify myself with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and... Uh, yeah, starting at, I think uh, in 2017, I had this dream. Now I can introduce myself as an entrepreneur. Ooh, yeah, I had you this had dream. a dream? Yes. Martin Luther <laughs> King. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. All right. Yes. Continue. Yeah, so uh, I think now uh, I, I, I ventured into uh, shoe business mm -hmm. and also fashion design. I dress artists. Okay. Yeah, I sell them good stuff. Legit, man. Legit. We don't we don't do fake. Okay. Yeah, man. So uh, I think uh, this Corona thing, the way it came, mm -hmm. I think it shook so many things. Mm -hmm. You see, I'm an artist, eh? So uh, with Corona, you see, all shows were banned. Uh, no, you can't go anywhere to do like a congregation. So that's why I thought now, why can't I venture into this shoe business, which I can do it online? Yeah, I can deliver my stuffs when I'm home. So I started uh, slowly. I prayed to God and I said, now, because Corona is a lot of things. You, can, you will never differentiate a big artist and a small artist. Maybe mm -hmm. TV too, but on the shows, there are no shows. So you need to have, uh, you juggle your mind and see what you can do next now. Okay, when did you start uh, uh, Slam Kid Kicks? Uh, Slam Kid Kicks started like, uh, let me say, officially started in January. Yeah, January is when I started my online. I opened my Instagram and I had already talked to my friends who were already supporting me. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have anything at that time, but I just thought, what if I tell my friends who buy shoes? Artists, some of them are artists. Eh? Mm -hmm. So I told them, uh, well, I'm, I'm starting this business. Yeah, if you want any shoe, I will sell you mm -hmm. yeah, at a good price. So that's how it started. It started, I opened up an Instagram, Facebook page. I started slowly by slowly until now. All right. You've mentioned something important, like you yes. included your friends yeah, uh, yeah. during the initial stage yes, of yes. your business. Mm -hmm. I'd like to find out, what was the initial capital and how did you raise your capital? Wow. Now this is Nirunas Kizungum Kuti. This is crazy. I think I, I can say, first of all, I give God thanks because I didn't have like capital. You see like Kile Capital, this is now this is the money I want to start business with. For me, I used to do this. I used to, like, I sell one shoe. Mm -hmm. I save that small money. I go buy another one. Then, the small, I think, uh, I, I, I depended on selling and buying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I sell, then save and buy another. That's how I started. I didn't have, like, a lot of money to start business with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so just... Uh, uh, being faithful yes, yes. <laughs> and honest with your money yeah, yeah. and your profit and just yes. investing it back sure. to the business. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned how far long you've been operating? Uh, hmm. For how long? Yeah, for how long? Yeah, I started in January. This January year. this year. This in the period year. of one, it, that is less seven months. Seven. I think in seven months, and uh, I think the brand is doing good. I give thanks to glory, man. The glory to God because. Mm -hmm. I've done, I've done a lot mm -hmm. of work. I've seen artists have trusted me. In fact, big up, there is a DJ on uh, an, uh, 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 some platform somewhere who has mm -hmm. DM'd me, mm -hmm. and I'm going to dress you, my guy. <laughs> I'm oh, waiting. Uh, yes. Before you go way further, mm -hmm. Rudy Apanyumbani. So Nime Rudy. Rudy. <laughs> Rudy. <laughs> Let's look at, uh, you mentioned earlier that you are a stylist, you, you offer designed, mm -hmm. well, Legit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like. Emphasis I like. On shows. Yeah. So, tell us more about what uh, does Slam Kid Kicks, and what is it 
does he have to offer just apart from that? Because you mentioned yes. other particular services. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Slam Kid Kicks uh, comes from my name because my artist name is Manasse the Slam Kid. Those who know, yo, dance all thing there. Yeah, no, you're on entrepreneurship. So. What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> you see, I'm taking them to the musical okay. uh, part, then I bring them back to be the business. You can't do You're the back. dance whole thing. <laughs> yeah, so I'm back. So mm -hmm. I think um, uh, when I, I started this thing, mm -hmm. uh, like Slam Kid Kicks is from my name, mm -hmm. Manasseh Slam Kid. Slam Kid, mm -hmm. I've been using it for quite a long time mm -hmm. because of my background yeah, from the slums, the way it says. So I thought, let me just inspire that Slam Kid who is there, not changing a name saying or oh, posh guy or what what no no mm -hmm. no i just say let me use this name i know i believe in this brand yeah the way you see these other big brands i believe in that brand slam kid kicks one day mm. i want to trust this brand that one day it will be recognized internationally so let me use it and yes. speaking about being recognized internationally you yes. actually did be re did you get to I'm be ready. <laughs> international. In the biggest, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, so you're going to work with a couple of mm -hmm. celebrities such yes, as yes. Anaibo in the song, Isabella, yeah, and the yeah. Nigerian artist. Yes, yes. Uh, so how do, how do you get to pick the correct uh, style for this particular artist and how did you even get to connect uh, with these particular celebrities to work with them? Uh, okay, first of all, uh, for that video, Isabella, uh, Naibo, and Kdex from Nigeria, I want to big up my boy Phil, Phil the Drip. Yeah, Philo Drip is the one who hooked me up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he told me, you know, uh, there is this opportunity we've gotten. So they want us to dress them and I, I have this, I have this. So Philo came with some stuff mm -hmm. and I also came with some stuff and we collaborated to dress them. So I think uh, having network with friends and good relationship is what matters in this business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I give thanks because that relationship created this opportunity and from that dressing of Naibo and Naibo posting, big up son and Naibo, yeah, then people realize, ah, they went to my page, start checking out my stuff, say, ah, this guy is selling good things. Mm -hmm. So that's how I started getting more orders, more orders, yeah. All right. So for someone who is watching this particular conversation and they yes. want to, to to get into the fashion industry and mm -hmm. become a stylist, yes, yes, sure. so the question will be as simple as this. Yeah. Uh, how do they get into this particular industry mm -hmm. and what skills or background does one need to have mm -hmm. in order to just uh, uh, get into this particular stylist mm -hmm. and fashion industry that is? Uh, from experience, mm -hmm. mine I can say is uh, you need just to have a, a vision a vision about that business. I can assure you it's not easy. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not easy at all. People will talk bad about what you do. So there is someone who will go somewhere and say, that guy is selling bad stuff, don't buy from him. But as long as you have a vision about that business, why, the reason why you're starting it, just have passion. Yeah, be disciplined with the small you get. If you have the capital to start, like you have 100 Gs, 50 Gs, 20 Gs, start with it. But if you don't have, you have to be disciplined. Yeah, with the little. For me, I don't have anything, man. That's what amazes me. When I wake up in the morning, then I find I have like three orders on my phone. I say, wow, this is God, because I didn't have anything. Yeah. All right. And for someone who is watching this and they're just trying to understand, sure. uh, mm -hmm. how are you doing in mm -hmm. the... The business. Mm -hmm. How is the business doing this time of the COVID nineteen? Yeah. And uh, are you doing deliveries? It's all Eastern Africa, like you deliver. Yes, yes, <laughs> East yes. Africa. Yeah. So uh, tell us more about that. Uh, hi. How is business doing this time? At this time, uh, first of all, you mm -hmm. see, uh, at least this time they opened some borders and like movement. You see the way like COVID nineteen when it hit. You see, people are so afraid to go out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so someone is afraid if he takes a matatu and Uber, will I contact uh, COVID-19? So that is when I think uh, things started picking up. So I used to write and say, we will sanitize before we deliver. <laughs> 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 so we'll keep when, to the guidelines. Yeah, mm -hmm. so when somebody sees my post and they're like, yeah, sure, I like this stuff, but I don't want to go out. Mm -hmm. So when I, they read and they, they see I've written, I will sanitize and draw. And for sure, I, I, I was not doing PR. Mm -hmm. I will sanitize because even me, the shoes have been imported. So you sanitize them. Then the, when the client calls, you, where are you? They, we drop at the doorstep, even not at the gate. We tell the soldier, please, we are going for a VIP delivery. <laughs> We bring to the doorstep. Yeah, mate, yeah, your marketing, <laughs> marketing, marketing. Yeah. Wait, so uh, for someone also 
uh, would like like wondering. Yeah. They're wondering what is so different about mm. uh, Slam Kid Kicks. Yeah. Uh, what is your niche? Because out here we have uh, different stylists. We have people who can uh, you know uh, link us up with. Uh, mm -hmm. Cool kicks. Yeah, yeah, sure. You know. yeah. So what is so different about the uh, Slam Kid Kicks? Uh, what is different about Slam Kid Kicks is because Slam Kid Kicks is godly based business. That is the difference between me and those people who think that I'm using anything else. Because for me, I pray every day in the morning. I tell God, this business has a lot of competition. There are a lot of people here. There are a lot of people who don't want it for me. You know, as much as we are laughing or you're laughing with your friend, there is someone who doesn't want good for you. Mm -hmm. So when you wake up in the morning, you tell God, I'm going out and I want you to prepare clients for me. So that is the most outstanding thing I will say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is why I get orders that people are wondering, hey, this guy has gotten money from my... No, it's God who... You see, this link up, sometimes they amaze you. You don't know who... There is somewhere maybe you sold a shoe mm -hmm. or a cloth. Then somebody to, told that person, ah, where did you buy this? They say, ah, there's some guy who sells me. So this is God who connects you to. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure. What is the process like if I, if I want to be uh, styled by you mm -hmm. uh, for a particular occasion? Yeah. So what is the process like to get to you? Mm -hmm. One thing, and are you free to give us your rate card? Uh -huh. okay. Can you give us your risk card? <laughs> How much does it cost? Uh, okay, uh, <laughs> uh, the cost, uh, you can't compare, like have a fixed cost mm -hmm. because when someone wants to be dressed or wants to buy a kick, kicks are different, clothes are different, mm -hmm. and uh, it depends on how many outfits someone wants. Mm -hmm. So you can't have a closed rate. Mm -hmm. So you just need to talk and communicate with your client mm -hmm. and uh, you communicate with them. Then how many outfits do you need? What kind of style do you need? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you say, you say, do you have anything uh, like a picture of how you want to be dressed? Or I send pictures. This is the stuff I have. Which one impresses you here? Mm -hmm. So that's when we talk about price. Okay. Yeah, but uh, sure, it's not little money, but it's not too much. <laughs> you can tell us it's affordable. <laughs> yeah, it's affordable, man, for all people, all kinds of people. Okay, if uh, my director is ready, we can check out your mm -hmm. kicks. But meanwhile, yes, yes. La, I would like to, you, these legit kicks, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Where do you get them? Where are we importing this particular uh, uh, legit mm -hmm. <laughs> season? That <laughs> yeah, where, uh, where do you, where uh, do you get your uh, your merchandise? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, I have trusted friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, like importing these things is not easy. Yeah, you see, some are from Italy made, France. You see. Yeah, so if you want to get them, you know, direct importation, you need to have a lot of money. So I have friends eh, or people who do business that mm -hmm. I trust them where they get their products from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's uh, where I go because I don't have that too much money. But if I get it, for sure I have a link to import direct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, me, I rely on them. So they help me to bring in because I think they have much capital than me. Okay. So I tell them, this is what I want, this is what I want. Then I go and choose what I ordered for. Mm -hmm. So I bring them, yeah, then I pay them something small because mm -hmm. they have spent their money to import. Right. Yeah, sure. So, my director, we are ready to check out this uh, slam kid kid kicks. kicks. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that was a tongue twister there. <laughs> hey, <laughs> so let's check out what you have. Uh, huh? So, the styling aspect. Mm -hmm. well, maybe you can tell us uh, about this look. Uh, actually, this look is uh, all about uh, design. This is like an artist thing. You see, you can't get anyone from anywhere just wearing like this. You need to have somebody like knows. This is now like an artist thing. Yeah, if you want to be dressed, there's a durag. Uh, there's some Gucci, some SWAT effort on the uh, ties. You see, yeah. So if there is an artist who want to be dressed, this is like one of the outfits. All right. Yeah, you nice. give them that one. Yeah, okay. this is now DJs from my best friends, mm -hmm. DJ Mzito, DJ Frank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I dress them. They appreciate. Oh, why wow, nice. Yeah, yeah. This is you? Yeah, that's me. Okay, still <laughs> on the artist. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But not only artists. Uh -huh. Yeah, because you see now that's like a Louis Vuitton uh, half sweater, you uh -huh. know. Yeah. But you should actually mention them. Yeah, oh, uh, this is now KDEX, eh? Uh -huh. With that. So uh, this is the one who, who did yeah, the Nigeria okay. who did the song Isabella with Naibo and Wallace. So this is me. And then uh, with Phil, 
Yeah, feel we dress this guy with feel though the kicks are mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the belt, the chain, you see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, those are some of the kicks. This is Jordan 6, mm -hmm. Travis Scott. How much does this? This is legit. Ah, legit, man. Can you see? <laughs> <laughs> How much does this cost? Uh, this is like 4,500. Mm -hmm. Common mm -hmm. one, ain't she? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. this one can be rocked by ladies. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I think it can be. This one is suits you very much. Yeah, okay. We need to talk after this. You know? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's uh, Air Force One, eh? Mm -hmm. Uh, that is Yeezy. Mm -hmm. You see, these Adidas Yeezy by Kanye West. You see Kanye West, you know. Like, this is the legit, like, from You Kanye, see, this one like comes, yeah, the order. You see, you order. Mm -hmm. You order them from the company. So, you see, you know. You see, there are people who trust good things. They don't want you to give them examples of things. And you know, there are so many you know examples. The, the situation whereby you yeah. order something yes, online, yes. and then when it comes in real life, it's something totally different. So we say called ground between a different. Absolutely. You see, now we order them, then they come the way you want them. That's what I normally tell people. Whatever you order, this is what we bring. These are Chelsea boots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, billionaire Chelsea boots for those classy people, those Class. classy men with some yeah, so, so it, when you enter, you see, mm -hmm. I, I always have a slogan that says, good shoes will take you to good places. Trust mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. What do you have here? Yeah, this is a mask. mask. Uh -huh. yeah, I, I, you see, I told you I like designer and legit things. This, this is a designer, genuine leather, mm -hmm. your three-ply mask. This is a Gucci one. I also have uh, uh, LV, Louis Vuitton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, it's so one. The one you <laughs> yeah, the one I came rocking. Yeah, that's yeah, a Louis Vuitton. Yeah, I saw the one you came rocking. Yeah, sure. Mm. Ah, nice. Yes, All yes. right. So for a particular, for any artist or just a uh, common one, like Chika Masisi, uh -huh. when we want you to, when we want you to dress us for yeah. a particular occasion, mm -hmm. and uh, you say that there's no fixed yeah. rate card. Okay. We will talk. Actually, there is no fix. The reason why I say that is because what you desire and mm -hmm. what somebody else desires is different. Mm -hmm. Then the combination, you can't say like this shoe, mm -hmm. I can compare with another one because oh, prices are different. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Makes lots yeah. of so sense. So your combination is what adds up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your, your red card. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sure. And for an artist who wants to reach out to you, uh, mm -hmm. to, for you to dress them, yes, and they're asking, I'm, for my side now, mm -hmm. and for most of our viewers who enjoy music sure. and they see this collection mm -hmm. and uh, combination of uh, different artists, mm -hmm. what 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 amount of work goes into choosing a particular uh, attire for an artist and mm -hmm. uh, what actually motivates or influences mm -hmm. mm -hmm. different looks? Does it have to do with the theme of the song? Yeah, yeah, yeah How sure. does it work? Actually, it has to be with the theme, uh, the mindset of the director, and also the mindset of the, the person who now is shooting the video, mm -hmm. the owner, the artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you're doing an African song, like mm -hmm. you can't dress them now, the Western style. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need to bring them now something that suits the African thing. So yeah, that, that's now the difference. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you are. So for guys who back at home, mm -hmm. how can they reach out to you mm -hmm. uh, uh, to get uh, information mm -hmm. on... Uh, fashion, mm. uh, yeah, design, design. Mm -hmm. you being their stylist, how can they reach out to you on social media? Okay, on social media, mm -hmm. uh, because I access all the, my media uh, platforms, uh, social media pl platforms, so you can reach me out on Slam Kid Kicks on Instagram, you can reach us on Slam Kid Kicks on Facebook, and also, if you come across Manasseh, the Slam Kid, the artist, baddest man around town, this thing they're doing for Jesus Christ, you can reach me out at Manasseh, the Slam Kid. Mm. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> Manasseh. Yo. Now we have shifted to Manasseh. He's yes, an artist, sir. and uh, we'll, you'll come another day and we'll talk about the music uh, uh -huh. uh, industry and the, sure. the business side of it and sure. how you're faring. Mm -hmm. Is that real gold? <laughs> so we'll be going to a short musical break and actually playing yourself. Ah, so nice. Let's see what you got on the other side.